Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be trying out some play store games on my POCO F5 that comes with Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 2 processor. First I'll be running Company of Heroes, it's a real time strategy game. You can purchase it from play store. I have enabled me UI favorite monitor tool and this is the CPU flow type. You can see the real time clock speeds of all cores of the processor, battery drain current, it's unit is milliampere, performance mode enabled from battery settings. Unfortunately, in this game, MIUI frame rate monitor tool does not show an accurate FPS count. Now we're in the menu. I was not able to change the graphical settings. Stick with the default settings. Start the game. FPS in this game is capped at 30. War is going on. These are my troops. selected them to reach the shingle is padding them more troops are here This processor could have easily run this game at 60 FPS. You can see power drop, not on the higher side. Almost there. And like these troops. Very good. Objective complete. Okay, engineers are required. Engineering squad. I'm standing here in the open. Very choppy cutscene. So the game is playable on Poco F5, but unfortunately FPS is capped at 30. No option to unlock the 60 FPS mode. I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be running the critically acclaimed game, this war of mine. It's a survival theme strategy game where the player controls a group of civilian survivors. Hiding inside a damaged house in the besieged fictional city of Pogren, the main goal of the game is to stay alive during the war with the tools and materials that the player can gather. Most of the characters under the player's control have no military background nor any kind of survival experience and will require constant intervention by the player in order to stay alive. You can purchase this game from Play Store. Games like these are not for everyone but I'll be honest it's a very good game. Ok so I was not able to change the graphic setting, stick with the default one, wow what is it good for, ok game has started, I will be looking for some resources, my character, control 3 of them, getting 30 fps, Seems to be a hard gap. No 60 FPS setting. I'll grab all of these resources. There you go. It's taking some time. 
this character is free locking the door seems quite safe here ok this door is locked I can craft items there's the bed I have the required resources I'll make it place it here there you go Lock this area. This character is done. I'll gather resources from the outside. So game is definitely playable on Book Wire 5. Unfortunately, FPS is kept at 30. Now I'll be running the next game. Android Porter SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Rehydrated. You can purchase it from Play Store. This game is very demanding on the GPU if you max out the settings, resolution set to medium, quality set to high, frame rate set to 60, anti-aliasing enabled. Let's start the game. I load the jellyfish fields. Alright, the game has started guys and hey we are getting around 50 FPS. You can see very high battery drain current. I told you this game is demanding. to 60 fps not bad game is running smoothly let me just try out the high resolution setting quality there you go ok there is an epic setting as well ok so fps dropped down to 30 yeah 20 fps there Epic setting is way too much. Processor cannot handle it. Now I'll just set everything to medium. It should be getting close to 60 FPS. Yeah, now game is running very smoothly. Who would have thought SpongeBob maxing out Snapdragon 7 plus Gentle processor? I have tested this game on my older phone so I already knew about its high GPU usage. That was close, almost missed that platform. This bridge is broken, you don't have enough resources, okay. Pay 125 shiny objects. Just did that. There's a bridge. <laughs> Checkpoint is Yeah, stable 60 FPS. Game is definitely playable on Poco 5. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Dragon Raja, free to play. You can download it from Play Store. These are the graphics setting guys. Unfortunately, high frame rate setting is not supported by this device. This is so disappointing. Graphics preset set to 1. I still cannot use the high frame rate setting. I'll use level 4 graphics preset. And you can see 
only getting 30 fps this is so disappointing found out that Zed isn't up yet, he'd be in trouble again. Oh well, I guess I'll have to wait for him a while longer. Waiting for Zed to appear. Hmm. There he is. The Christmas gift box. Find the Christmas present. This processor can easily Come run this game it. at 60 FPS, but again game is not optimized for the processor the gift is here somewhere seems the supply ship hasn't arrived I must go now don't forget to find a date for tomorrow's Christmas banquet found the gift FPS in this game. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be running Sky Children of Light. It's an open world social indie adventure game. You can download it for free from Play Store. I was not able to change the game setting. Unfortunately, FPS is capped at 30. Again, this is disappointing. Zoom my journey. I was able to change the settings on my older phones, but on this device, no graphics settings show up. There's the temple. Need to free this spirit to power the spirit gate. Alright. New objective. Follow the spirit to relive its memories. Something's happening. Who's this guy? So all of the games except for SpongeBob had a 30 FPS cap on Poco F5. New ability. Level 2. I can fly. If you ending the video, I'll just measure the temperatures. I saw temperature on the screen side. I need to change it to degrees Celsius. Maximum temperature on the screen side is around 39 degrees Celsius. And on the back side, maximum temperature is around 38.4 degrees Celsius. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.